Another slow night, huh? Yeah, another boring night. Boring? We helping keep people safe? Yeah, man, but where's the action? Where's the thrill? Still not getting any at home, huh? Man, I get plenty. <laughs> you know, you clearly haven't mastered the art of lying yet. It's just like, you haven't got the face on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you caught me. I'm in the doghouse again. Again? Man, Bethany's still not over that argument yet, huh? She knows how to push my buttons. Well, you know what they say. Happy wife, happy life. Wait, whose side you on? Your best friends are Bethany's. Yeah, go ahead. Please respond to 12359 Charing Cross Road in reference to a 1031 in the area. Dispatch, can you advise on the description of the suspect? Tall black male, gray hoodie, dark denim jeans, carrying a red backpack. Last seen walking north of 12359 Charing Cross Road. 104, we're already in the area. Finally, some action. I guess you got your wish. Yep, that's a positive ID in the red backpack. All right, I'll contact. I'll cover. Hey! Can we help you? Nah, I'm good. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm good. Is there a problem, officers? Nah, uh, we just got a report of a suspicious individual in the area. Oh, really? So am I being profiled today? Not quite, son. There's been several residents concerned with properties being broken into. You wouldn't happen to know anything about these incidents, would you? Nah, actually, I'm just trying to get to my people's house. Oh, your people's house? Are you sure your peoples belong in this neighborhood and they're not the ones breaking into houses? Man, what? Hey, 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 calm down. Let's see some ID. Slowly. Back up a little bit. Jerome Davis. In the flesh. All right. All right. I'm gonna go run this info. Okay. You good? Yeah. I'm good. All right, I'll be right back. Fired my location. One suspect down. Officer needs assistance. Send an ambulance. 10 4 420. Dispatching ambulance. Can you tell us about the night when you and Officer O'Connor encountered Jerome Davis?
You alright? Yeah, yeah, um. Just, um. Just a little tired, that's all. Yeah, no, we've been through a lot these past few days. Yeah. We have. Hey, we're good. On everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so, dinner, your place. Tonight? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I almost forgot. All right, well, I'll see you tonight. I am so disappointed in this city. My son loved this city. And this city killed my son. Murdered him. Killed him. And a murderer gets away? Jeez. Are you kidding me right now? Crazy. We're not evolving as a civilization. We're devolving. Get back. Yeah. But we have taken steps forward. People have died for us to have these rights. Yes. Right. 2020 Millions. feels like 1969. Damn. Come yeah. on. What is it going to take for us to get justice? Clark O'Connor murdered my boy. Killed him. Yeah. Dad, was Jerome really in the wrong that night? Um, everything happened really fast that night and kind of blur. But as officers of the law, it's our job to assess situations and for the protection of all. Clark? So yes, Janice? The job of a police officer is to serve and protect, right? Yes, that's right. So why weren't those same rights held for Jerome? Shanice, that is enough. It's okay. I'll answer. Shanice, that there's nothing that I honor more than my duty as a police officer. And I treat everyone equally that I come across. Now that night, I follow protocol to the best of my knowledge. Protocol, huh? Does following protocol tell you to shoot to kill and ask questions later? Or is that just standard protocol for harassing and profiling black people? Now that's enough. You will treat everybody at this table with respect. Do I make myself clear? Respect? For a murderer? Excuse me, young lady. My dad is not a murderer. I'd rather be shot first. May I be excused? No. Yes. Uh, Shanice, it was an accident. I... I'm so sorry for Shanice's behavior tonight. Oh, stop, don't apologize. Look, I get it. It is a really emotional time for all of us right now. Yeah, you're right. Look, I know Clark can be a little rough around the edges, but he really is a good guy at heart. I don't think he would ever do anything to intentionally hurt anyone. Yeah. I hope you're right about that. And our family is certainly not racist. Besides, I have plenty of black friends. And I voted for Obama. Twice. So, what'd you really see that night? Honestly, uh, I'm not too sure. All I remember is you two arguing and hearing shots ring out and then running over to assess the situation. I'll never forget holding that boy in my arms as he died that night. It was intense to say the least. But we're still good, right? 
What? Just in case IA looks into this, you know? Clark, a boy died that night. That's all you could think about right now? Come on, Lonzo. You know I didn't mean it like that. I meant, if it wasn't me, somebody would have got him eventually, right? What the fuck does that mean? It means his kind pick each other off every day. Little thugs like him deserve to be behind bars or laying out in some cemetery somewhere. If you look at it the right way, I did this city a favor. The right way? His kind a favor? Wow. So, so what does that make me to you? Calm down. You're nothing like them. You're different. I'm different? Yeah. I'm different how? I'm, I'm the non-threatening black man? The Uncle Tom, the Oreo. Yes. You're just like me. The moment we put on that uniform, we're not black anymore. We're blue. Anything in that thug's hands would be considered a weapon. What about in my hands? You know what? Maybe I should review those tapes. Oh, really? So what are you saying? I'm saying... Good night, Officer O'Connor. Bethany Cassidy! Let's go. saying this was an accident. Yes. No one ever meant or wanted to kill a kid. Officer O'Connor's innocent. 